right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Guys, we have a big automatic knife, so say hello to Rin, Stimpy Powder, Toastman, Log, and TV, and let's get started. If you're not subscribed to the Knives Fast channel, guys, please check it out. Watch some videos, see what you think. Uh, check out the brand new logo. Loving, loving, loving it. And if you like what you see, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you're already subscribed, guys, I love you. <laughs> you're awesome. Uh, thanks to each and every one of you. All right. So this is the Microtech Stitch, and this is also a knife uh, from Peter at a Therapeutic Edge. Now, this is a collaboration uh, between Anthony Marfione uh, of Marfione Customs and uh, Sebastian, I think it's Beringi, of uh, Borka Blades. Um, and so really cool. And this one is made by Microtech here in the USA. Uh, very, very cool. Now, this knife is not going to be available right now. Now, I do know they've dropped these from time to time, and there are people waiting in line to get these, and I know why now. Um, this is a $398 knife when it is in stock. I am not finding it anywhere, uh, and just a great, great knife. Now, uh, this one is this great checkered, I guess you would say, uh, aluminum alloy, um, and it is phenomenal. You have a, a milled button here, really, really nice. There you get a look at the button, which is a hefty, hefty button. Those standoffs and the backspacer, just so well done. Again, uh, wow. I mean, it's just phenomenal. This, um, the pocket clip, I didn't think I would like it. It's a little stiff. Um, I'm just going to do this again just to make sure. But, yeah, I mean, it goes yeah, goes right in the pocket, right out of the pocket. I only carried it around the house. That's why I had to do that because they're technically not legal where I live yet. Uh, so I only carried it around the house. I didn't carry it out in public. Yeah, I know. I'm weird. Uh, you do have this wonderful-looking blade. My only question about this knife has been the whole time, why do we have a hole when it's an automatic don't tease me. I cannot use that hole for anything. It is not going anywhere. Okay, so let's flip it open. Wow. All right, so this is a big, thick, heavy beast of a blade. And of course, as typical with Microtech, you have, uh, uh, wow, can I read that? Yeah, M390 down here. You have Microtech USA, stitch written there, serial number 6902052021. Um, and this beautiful stone wash blade and no billboarding on this side, but there is a, just like I said with the LUDT, which I haven't actually seen in person. Oh, and you got the Borka Blades logo up there too. There's a lot going on here on this side of the blade. Now you have this great spoon going on here and this wicked looking spear point crazy. What do they call this blade style spear point? Yep. That's what I would call it. That's the closest thing you could call it. It is a piercer. Uh, but let me tell you, the 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 uh, the most exciting part of by the way, there's a lanyard hole in the backspacer for those of you that dig that thing, that kind of thing, is the ergonomics, guys. This thing is unbelievable ergonomically. Now I can get it back here. Uh, four fingers back here very nicely, and it feels good, and I got some jimping right there. Feels great, but when you come up here and you put your thumb in that spoon and you put your finger in that um, uh, forward finger choil, and by the way, it also has a sharpening choil, so good, man. Just phenomenal. Now, I still am in a little bit of a crisis. Now, legal autos are going to be legal in my state very soon. Um would I prefer this to be a manual knife that I could just flick open? Hmm. Or do I like the fact that it's auto? I kind of dig the fact that this one's auto. Uh, I am very interested. A lot of you know I've been talking about, I want to get the Hoga Ballista uh, and get that in here. It's a, it's a bigger knife and it's an auto. I want to check that one out. That one looks like it's probably going to be my first like purchased auto. By the way, we are dead centered. Um, and lock up when it's open, phenomenal, L like a fixed blade. And again, that's because everything is so big and and just so well done. I mean, the stop pin, everything, it just feels <laughs> heavy metal, man. I mean, look at, look at that. Now I'm going crazy. Um, 
All right, let's just, I, I didn't do a lot of cutting with this just simply because, like I said, I've only carried it around the house. But let's just do this out of curiosity. Oh my gracious. I think I did this on the, what? On the unboxing. Uh, are you kidding? It is a machine, guys. This knife, holy crap. All right, uh, yeah, so if you need more evidence, I uh, can't help you. Uh, this knife is a machine. It is phenomenal. This is an 8.5 inch play, uh, knife with a 3.75 inch blade with a three inch cutting uh, edge, which is plenty for this shape of knife. Bowler M390, the blade thickness is a whopping 0.19. But again, the geometry is good. You saw how it cut and the blade is just outstanding. Uh, bead blast stone wash on the finish. Uh, it is a plain edge, five uh, inch handle length, which I love. Handle thickness, 0.62. It is alloy, 6.38 ounces. But guys, I'm telling you, when you handle it like this, it feels right. It feels like it should be that heavy. It really does. It, it is not too heavy for me. Uh, now, carry-wise, I didn't do a lot of that because, again, couldn't, couldn't do so. But there's a lot sticking into the pocket here. Um, you got that harpoon. Um, yeah, up to you, which is kind of why I think I might like the Belista better because it's more of a thin knife, uh, but we shall see. Uh, and it's cheaper too, and I'm a tightwad. But anyway, and this one's not available. So there's lots of reasons. But um, Microtech, obviously, made here in the USA. It is an EDC knife. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal knife that I am so grateful that I got to look at. Peter, you are the man. And by the way, again, if you want a tactical knife, again, I'm not trained for this, but if you want a tactical knife and you're trained to use it, this is, I think this would be a great tactical knife, uh, but it would also be just a phenomenal EDC knife, just phenomenal. And for getting down and cutting out stuff or cutting into a box or uh, whatever it is you have to do cut, for me, cutting tape or rope or paper, um, you know, to cut out shapes, uh, like to piece paper together. You know, I do stuff like that sometimes, craziness. But just all kinds of awesome on this one. And it just, by the way, this is a very tactile feeling uh, finish, and it is not going anywhere in your hand. When you get a hold of it, it just feels great. Now, um, there is right here just a little bit of a dig into uh, my my pad of my finger right there when, let's see, is it here when I'm choked? It's not there when I'm choked up. But if I'm back here, I can definitely feel that. Um, don't know if I call it a hot spot, but it's definitely there. Um, let me wipe the blade since I did some cardboard cutting here just so you can see it all nice and pretty at the end. But man, uh, I just am so happy to have gotten a look at this. Peter, thank you so much. What a beautiful, beautiful finish on that blade and uh, just dig it. So guys, the Microtech stick, Stitch, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, appreciate each and every one of you. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up and thank you guys for all your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.